Hey, welcome to my, you know, rec room video, and don't wonder why I'm on screen right now, that's just not important. I know, I know I haven't uploaded it in a while, it's been like a few days, I think almost five at this point, and I have an explanation for that. I just started college, and it got so busy, bruh. I, 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 I it, was, it was crazy. I'm having a lot of fun, though, it was super cool, and to top that off, something weird is happening with my account. As you guys can see, I'm not my average self, I'm on an alt account, but on my main account, I couldn't log into rec room and it was just frozen every time i would try going into my dorm room it would freeze and i tried everything i, I tried researching everything nothing worked other than getting onto an alt account so we're just going with this fit today if you don't mind of course if you don't want to be freaky though use my code in rec room it's super easy and it really does support me anyways let's get started onto our rec room news so considering the fact i was gone for four freaking days it, i have a lot of news to cover basically first of all to get us started rec room players are receiving this new rating rooms UI. In this UI, it reads, help us improve your experience. How would you rate the quality of whatever room you're in? And you can rate it out of five stars. There's even a little UI on the bottom which allows you to select what you didn't like about the room as well. And in case you guys weren't already aware, Rec Room had a new video contest. They had an entire video on their channel and stuff like that, and this released a few days ago. So if you don't know, how, how do you not know? Anywho, in their little announcement announcing it, they had said, we're back with video contest, and the theme is short stories. Whether it's a drama, comedy, thriller, or something experimental, get ready to unleash your storytelling skills. For more information, you can check out here. Now inside this link, we get to see more information about the new video contest, which is short stories. We've already gone over the theme, so I'm not going to read the first paragraph, but as you guys can see, the contest is starting from August 12th all the way to September 2nd, and submissions are due at 11.59pm. If you guys are wondering how you would record, editing and post-production are allowed, but the majority of content should be filmed in Rec Room itself. Unfortunately for now, the streamer cam only works on PC due to Sony and Oculus Quest restrictions, and we will continue to look into ways we may be able to bring it to more views to those platforms in the future. For now, below are some tutorials to help guide recording across our various platforms. Now, of course, they have a bunch of tips for you know recording across platforms and there's a bunch of videos and stuff that you guys can check out i will have the link to this actual you know article down inside the description below so check it out it's like that with all my videos very important links down into the description and in case you guys are wondering what you will basically win inside the video contest basically there will be 20 winning videos with up to five credited creators per video so 100 winners the only five members can get those rewards which are a brand new in-game item which is the video contest titty 4,000 tokens per creator and the video contest trophy trophy. If you guys are wondering how you'd submit a video, all your videos must be posted publicly to YouTube, and you can use the form below to submit your video, and be sure to read all the rules before submitting. Now carefully read through all the rules. You may actually be disqualified if you guys miss a rule or something. It would suck to be doing all that editing and all that recording work, only to be finally done with all your hard work, and it be disqualified because you didn't look at the rules. So check the rules out, people. They really do matter. Now, of course, there's more information if you guys are interested, and I will have the link down in the description below. For some strange reason, many players are seeing this new store button on the UI now. I got mixed reviews. Some players like it. Some players don't really like it. It's, it's pretty weird. And believe it or not, we actually got a new Rec Room update. Titled the Dry Eyes Edition, we have a TL. DR as always, and they say updated grabbable items and consumables for full body avatars. Now you can finally pour water into your mouth instead of your eyes on screens. They had touchpad component changes, and they patched glitch grabbing exploit for longbow and globin goblin. Okay, goblin wand. Then they go on to full body avatars, and they go on to say sometimes hands felt a bit clunky when releasing grabbed items, like there was a kind of ghost collider getting in the way of whatever you were holding as soon as you dropped it. We found the ghost and exercised it. Who you gonna call? Coach Bust? Th that's a terrible pun. <laughs> we also took a pass at the 500 items that you can grab in the game and updated how they look in your hand and how they look when drinking and eating. For example, you'll no longer pour the water bottle into your eye when trying to take a drink on screens, and there are a few challenging outliers like the Rec Royale Glider that need some special love, and they'll get those in a future update. They then also fixed watch lag and anchoring in VR for full body avatars, and lastly, repositioned full body avatar seated positions to align with being offsets. Then they had some general improvements and bug fixes of course. They reduce temporary memory allocations during circuit execution by removing extra enumerator allocations in for each loops caused by the interface. Function definition nodes can now be cloned and put into inventions. When wiring together incompatible ports on chips in a better room, a conversion chip will 
will automatically be inserted between them when possible. They fixed a bug that could cause players with player boards for joining players with a custom voice roll-off player trait. They added a setting to Interaction Volume V2 to allow creators to hide slash show the outline when hovering, and they fixed a bug where party or club chat would be unselectable when switching tabs. They fixed the size of the room and item card loading placeholders that were loading in at the wrong size, and fixed an issue where bogus VR tracking data could cause rendering issues. And okay, don't get too mad at us, but we had to patch the glitch grabbing exploit for the bow and the wand in VR. Sorry, gang. Fix broken behavior after unleaking an account from a device. Don't worry, guys, we turned it off and back on again. And lastly, fixed a bug where some text validation was not on Xbox input comp prompts. I almost said compounds. Then for Rooms 2.0, they baked a fix for issues with non hierarchical nav mesh baking in Rooms 2.0 rooms. And lastly, fixed an issue where using the Connect tool to repair an objects in Rooms 2, a selected item may go out of scope and should no longer be selected. Lastly, for Rec Room Studio, they fixed issues with copying of clamp, rotator, and piston content from Legacy Rooms and pasting them into Rooms 2.0 rooms, and square up! Cube Maps will now have a more optimal texture format automatically applied for mobile platforms. Now I'm on a bit of a time crunch here, so I can't really go to the Destiny 2 room right now, but Rec Room had an announcement that will do us enough justice. Basically, do you guys remember the Destiny 2 collab? Well, Rec Room sorta updated it. They have an announcement saying, keep your eyes up, Guardian. Destiny 2 has landed with even more styles to gear up with, and you can grab the Legendary Titan and Hunter armor sets, or even Guardian hoodies and baseball caps available now. So, it's pretty much just new items inside the Destiny 2 collab. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts, of course. Now, with the new Destiny 2 items, we had received this for our weekly shop, but don't worry, we actually got a weekly rotation image as well. On this weekly rotation image, you guys can see a bunch of gun skins that will be coming, as well as our Requiem Plus item, which was the Beach Bug and then you guys can also see for pop-up shop it's just all the new destiny 2 items be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts and honestly i'm kind of sad that we just have this little portal here for our shop this week <laughs> i'm pretty sure we have all the same board except for our featured creator we now have a new one which is called Volder. and this is all the items that we have inside the shop as we can see we're missing an item i guess but in other news rec room had an announcement regarding skibbity stuff inside of rec room hi everyone wanted to share a quick announcement regarding skibbity toilet rooms we have removed public access to all skibbity toilet rooms in response to previous requests from the rights holders. All creators should abide by the creator code of conduct and ensure their creations do not contain unauthorized use of intellectual property. So this was a dub for everyone. If you didn't like Skibbity Toilet, this is a dub. And uh, yeah, kind of sad to see all my favorite games go away. And Requiem had finally announced their gala nominees. If you guys don't remember, Requiem had a creator's gala where they were just ranking the best of the best. And they have this little article talking about it. The creator gala celebrates the best content in Rec Room from the past year. As judged by our most talented and dedicated creators, you can click any thumbnail to learn about the nominated rooms, creators, arts, inventions, and avatar items. From rooms on RecNet, you can click play to join the experience. Invited creators must vote until August 30 at 11.59 p.m. PST, and we will celebrate winners at the Creators Gala on September 29th. Ceremony will be live streamed on YouTube, or you can join and watch the awards go out in Rec Room. If you have nominated content, we will show it off at RecCon, and you can click here for more info to participate. Now, they have the nominees for best room, best game room, most innovative room, best audio, best room visuals, best rooms 2.0, etc, etc, etc. It goes on to like best solo creator and your boy is nominated for best rec tuber. You love to see it. So of course people, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts and we will just have to wait and see what comes of this creator's gala. I can't believe I got nominated. It's so cool. And to top that off, just because I, you know, have been kind of lacking on uploads to make it up to you guys, I have a giveaway. Now this giveaway is is a Gleam giveaway just like Rec Room's Nintendo Switch giveaway. And I am giving away one Nintendo Switch to one lucky person. So you, yes you, might have a chance at winning a Nintendo Switch. Now, let me tell you how it goes. I have a QR on the code here that you guys can either scan and stuff like that if you guys really want to, or you guys can visit the link down inside the description below. Basically, you have to put in entries and stuff like that, and it could be like supporting Rec Room on YouTube or on Instagram, stuff like that, and you can have multiple entries. Though be fast, because this a giveaway actually started yesterday because I was supposed to upload a video yesterday. But it doesn't matter. We have till September 5th at 11.59 p.m. PST. And of course, you guys can apply to try and get this Nintendo Switch till then. 
All right, and now it's time for my favorite part of the video, my memberships. Now, if you don't know, in all my videos, I have a short little self-plug of all my channel memberships. Basically, these people give me money every month, and they get special perks like shoutouts in my videos and sneak peeks to my videos and stuff. We've had some new pookies since I've last read this and stuff like that, and I love to see it. And of course, massive shoutout to all the people who are in between Calamari and Octopus in my membership. These people include Nat the Pup, Mr. Ink, Alteral 2, Mufi, Abby, Young Creator, Jazzy VR, Jordan the Wolf YT, Dead Channel, PFG on VR, Hot Classy, Dino Pie, Jack Tutorial, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BBB Burning Owl, Yo, It's Jakey, Raphael, Clown, Netflix 6 9 and of course, Box David. Thanks for all the love, people, and I really do truly appreciate it. And of course, without wasting any more time, let's get back inside this video. I hope you folks enjoy the giveaway, and I'll be talking about it in all my videos until it's over. So of course, if you guys don't want to do it right now, maybe you guys can wait till my next video, and you guys should see it again. And of course, if you guys haven't seen already, I was actually invited onto the Rec Room official channel. They had like an entire video just interviewing me. I love to see it. I can't believe I got featured and stuff like that. It's awesome. And massive shout out to Corbin's for, you know, kind of just being there. Super cool guy, super cool environments. And of course, people, I hope you guys liked that little interview. If you guys didn't watch it yet, I will have a link down in the description below. But I do want to, of course, include my meme of the week for this week so I don't miss this week, of course. And let's roll it. It was, it was funny to me at the time. Looking back at it now, it's still funny, but not as funny as I thought it was. WRL meme of the week. Be sure to tear it. And that was pretty much this entire video. I just want to say I apologize for, you know, lacking on the uploads lately. College has been whipping your boy, and I'm still trying to, you know, do my daily uploads, but it's not working out too well. Of course, appreciate you guys watching all the way to this point in the video, too. And if you guys want to see more Rec Room News content, you guys should see it on that side of the screen and stuff like that. Of course, be sure to use my code in game, like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff. Shoot, maybe even share it with a friend, because if they play Rec Room, they may want to know the Rec Room News as well. And of course, people, that was pretty much it. Bye-bye!